This is your daily market recap for Thursday, March 7th, 2022. Let's go. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka the trading agent, and this is my stock, Bitcoin, gold, and silver daily market recaps. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka the trading agent, and this is your daily market recap for Thursday, April 7th, 2022. Let's get into it. As you know, Start off the Discord room as always. If you are newer to trading and need some guidance, there's usually the answers in this room. And also, too, if you have the desire and the thirst for more knowledge, I guarantee there's plenty of information here to help you out with understanding of, say, volume price analysis, the market, seasonality, what to expect coming up with daily recaps, alerts, back to basic videos on how to trade. There's a ton in here. So, if you are newer to the channel or newer to the room, I advise you check out the Discord room link in the description below and look forward to talking to you. Uh, let's get into it. All right, Bitcoin, we talked about this. If you've been watching Bitcoin at all, said 45,000 was the top of the VAP zone. You had a double top. We broke out. If you look at the weekly chart, you see a lot of chopping and decision. What did I say? Set your stops at 45,000. I'll be surprised if it fails here. It could hit the old December 4th highs or lows. I apologize. It could hit down to 35,000 or ultimately hit the old uh, support zone at 30,000. Knowing that these things are happening, it's tough to be really bullish or bearish. That's what support resistance does. At least it gives you a measuring stick to go from at this point has to hold above this if it doesn't then it gets bearish it's really that simple i hope trading can seem like that at times try to make it that way the good old tlt as we call it riding the lightning it's very hard to trade a bottom when a stock rides the lightning meaning if it's hit the trend line bounced hit the trend line bounced hit the trend line bounce hit the trend line bounced Wow, you've gotten back down to the trend line. It should bounce again. Now, again, the world is ending. 5% interest rates? Everybody's screwed. Please, come on now. <laughs> I try to make jest of it, but it's like 5% is not that bad. But also, too, keep in mind, the Fed's priced in. This is a huge rate hike. Do you think the feds are actually going to do it? I ask people that all the time. Like, do you think they're actually going to raise rates or the bond market overprice rates? Just like the stock market can overprice the market or underprice it at times. Markets can get irrational. I, you know, we talked about today needing to be a green day. <laughs> it was green, not ideal, but it is indecision. It did close at the highs the last 10 minutes. If you had a chance to watch it, just someone was ripping it into the close. And I hope people saw that because that's accumulation. Big boys have the ability to pull in money at the close. I hope people watch that. Now, again, does that mean it has to rip higher tomorrow? No. But when someone's buying the bottom, someone's buying the bottom. That's what it looks like there. The dollar. Ooh, we talked about this having to hold up, and it's holding tight. It's making new highs. Now, again, the dollar volatility to me really isn't that big a deal. I mean, the dollar moves isn't until it's super volatile. This is not big, crazy moves. So if, if you see a big move in the dollar please stop by the discord room and say something because i'm waiting for it <laughs> i'm not seeing it <laughs> the vix again the vix pops and it drops it's amazing you got a little double top on the 100 day and the 20 day short term oh boy people are gonna see this and go well i guess the market's about to rip to new highs <sighs> man okay one green day does not make a trend change or necessarily a trend. Keep in mind, what have I said? Novice gaps. Novice gap is typically premonition to lowers. I mean, going lower if you're a bull. This is an exhaustion. No, no different than an exhaustion gap at the lows. Like, remember, you see you closed here, you opened here. Well, that just happened to flip right back around. Same thing here. You flip at the top and the bottom like the novice gaps they're usually pretty big that's a big gap in the spy keep in mind the last time you had a gap like that it filled in the same day and closed at the highs that was bullish this no we held the 20 day congrats you had a doji indecision day you made looks like double lows you know you have a two day range it's pretty simple looks like bullish to get close over you know or get over the highs of today should get back to the 100 day if it breaks the 20 day damn starts to open a little bit but you do have the 50 day again it's the golden cross yeah whatever man qqq 
I love making fun of these crosses and stuff. Talked about the 100, 200 day being resistance. You're welcome. Go back to the old videos. I, I, I asked people, like, if you were confused and did not really understand what's happening here, please go watch some of the old videos. We, we predict some of this stuff with high probabilities. Like, you know, as I'm talking about in the past. So watch the previous videos. Click on the spy. They're all in order. Check it out. What did we say? We said this again. A novice gap. When you retested, that was dangerous. That was the day we were all shorting. Everyone's like, oh, I don't know, man. Let's take a look at it. And then it retested. Just it didn't get even there. And you had to add it. And then what do you see? Bang, bang. Bang, bang. That's all I can say. Watch the 20 day and 50 day. Let's get an idea of BM. Because remember, if you don't watch a single thing out of or you don't remember a single thing out of this video, remember the IWM is lagging and IWM leads. IWM peaked in November. Remember the spy peaked in December. Bottom first in March, top back, and now is clearly not acting well. Now we're at, we're back testing the trend. Congratulations, but we'll see. We got double trend. We got and swing point here all in one. It better hold 198. If not, Adios amigos, sayonara, GLD. So many people love to give me flack about, oh, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. And I keep saying, gold is stuck, man. You need to go over the 20 day before you can even think about being bullish. And what have I said? The second quarter sucks. Do I need to do a separate video and send this to every person or to repeat myself? Let's go and do a few years, second quarter, see what happened. April, May, chop. Last year, a little different. Keep in mind, we did peak pop in June. Really good, but we weren't at the highs. We were coming off the lows. Keep that in mind. And it still got choppy and sloppy. But think of it the difference. This already happened. So sometimes the cycle is not perfect, but you'll see. Like There are inflection points as you go through this. Not rocket science. Here you go. April and May and June. Bullish. This is more like what I think we're in. We popped, and we're just going to chop out. And look what happened. June, and then you go. Let me find last year. Same thing. Okay, here we go. April, May, June, rip. You see that? This is at a low. Again, you have to remember, it depends on where you're at on the charts. But I'll repeat what I expect. Here was just a whole straight down going into this. This doesn't really count. Chop and then down. Let's go back to the present because here again, I will predict it again with Probability, because again, we're just using repeating patterns, folks. This isn't some sort of new rocket science here. What do we got? What do we have, friends? So now that we've seen the past, big up move, chop, chop, chop. I literally drew it here till June. This is my guess. You're going nowhere. First, you need to get over 183 to even be considered bullish. If not, you are stuck in a chop zone, and I hate trading the chop zones because if you don't buy the bottom and you don't short the top then you're just fucking holding your dick in your hand and it's just not a good luck like you're out in public and everyone sees you like being bullish and it's not going anywhere and everyone sees you saying bearish and it's not going anywhere you just it's just embarrassing let's just call it what it is if you can get that rant you'll laugh at it you'll at the inside joke in the discord room again if you're not a member please check out the link below that word say hello you control me. I don't care. Silver, same thing. Like, look at this. Big up. Chop, 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 chop. I think we're stuck. 20 days rounding down. I draw. Like, let me. I might as well stretch this out to where I think it's going to go. There you go. I mean, it, this is going to be harsh for my for my bull friends, potentially. Because if this doesn't go, I just chop. Same thing with GDX. We said, you get to the 40 range every single time in the last couple weeks, and you just couldn't get over it. 20 day breaks adios amigo and again it doesn't have to necessarily mean it's like lights out it's just it's just not going to go anywhere here's the leader the gdxj should be leading keep in mind junior miners junior because they're higher levered to the commodity should be up here not under the 20 day already danger 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 am as uh crocodile hunter would say holding up at the highs this looks better than most miners, but again, it's getting really compressed here. It looks like it's just run out of gas. Rubber band man. Up, 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 uh, getting real tired. Cannot give it much more effort. Should pull back. AG. This thing should be at 14s. It broke the trend under the 20 day. This is a leader. Not leading. 
pass. We'll end it with the pass. We'll throw a Numont bonus. 20 day, same thing. Not really great. Numont. What did we say? It hit the monthly or the weekly channel high. Look at this. Hold on. Make sure it's perfect. Cool. We broke over it. Chopping around at it. It's... <sighs> you would think this area, this high volume should not be at the highs selling because it looks like selling because that's what that is and now this looks like a bull trap getting tired that's your bonus material on that we'll see what happens let's get into materials just be careful come on come on now you repeat yourself be careful materials what have we said about x we said watch out for the downtrend from and to 200 month watch previous videos because i'm gonna pop it in real quick boom 200 month no looks like an m pattern if the 20 day breaks Adios, amigos, which is great because I want to buy the dip. I don't think this is going to the ground for the long term. Valet, same thing. Little, what do we call an island floating resort of reversal? A gap up and then a gap down. Better hold this channel. I would, and I keep telling people, I'd like it down here. Come back into the 16, 17 range. I will load the boat. CCJ, you know what? Uranium is holding up pretty well. It looks like an M pattern held the 20 day, but look where we're at. It's really awesome that the stock looks like it could break out, but now we're coming into the 50% FIB in a weekly zone. I don't have faith in it. I could be wrong. I think this might be a trap. The volume looks good, though, but you got to clear 31s. You just have to. Just keep it that simple. Mosaic and CF. Talked about you know the, the action looking bearish, but look at that. Maybe I'm getting the middle finger. It's not a head and shoulders. Okay, well... I'm just reviewing this as we speak for this today. It better hold over 71. How about we'll call it that? If you don't hold over 71, could be a bull trap. CF, now here's a, here's is a little more concerning because there's another stock in that sector. This should be up here. Keep in mind, stocks that are in the same sector should act pretty much similar in the sense of, you know, the numbers might not be the same on the prices, but the action should be very similar. Hope that makes sense. Not a good sign. Here's our favorite short, AMD. This thing is just on life support. Back testing a trend line. It holds 100. Cool. Maybe it pops up to the 20-day. We'll see from there. I mean, we talked about taking profits down here, but also raising stops. Keep in mind, though, you have some just in case because this thing bites the dust. Remember, we talked about the 70s. I think... Bulls would hate that because there's some that has been holding from 160. They're taking on what we call a round trip ticket. You go up and down. You go there and you come back. Coming back means starting where you start. You know, coming back to where you started, and that usually means with no money broke or the minimum amount you put in. Apple. We talked about this chopping bull trap, novice gap, gap down. Look what happened. Lower low, lower high. We did not confirm any bullishness today. This is just an inside day. Watch the two-day range. Don't get too excited about one day. I always tell people that you gotta be gotta be vigilant. Your brain is just not getting distracted. MicroStrategy, what do we say? That was it channel, no 20 day. Better hold so far, so good. That's all I can really say on that. They gotta get over the hundred day. You see it. You gotta go over a channel high in the hundred day. That's your stick in the stick in the dirt to go. Roblox. Under the 20 day, whoop, yep, sorry, the volume's increasing. This is not bullish, in my opinion. This is not a bullish close because why it's the first time it closed under the 20 day and yet expanding volume. Let's see if you get continuation down tomorrow again. Be careful. Oh, Tesla, you're going to 1200, aren't you? Eh, no, but another kind of inside day, not a big deal. Keep in mind, in downtrends, sometimes you get trapped in bullshit. I'm watching this like two day range, 1025, hold your gold. If not, you fold. Penn got some downgrades yesterday and March Madness is over. Burn, end of the you know, end of the run, because you cannot take out these lows. We are right at them. 3750. Just plant that flag in your brain. If it breaks below it, it's toast. Uh, UTHR, I, I mean, I keep talking about the Discord room and no one's following up on it. And I said, what is this move? This is a double bottom. Popped, you pull back to the 20-day. Look, you had like five-day range and boom, 174 to 193. What did we say? We'd filled this gap for probably the 100 and 200-day. UTHR was a gift if anyone traded it. Congratulations. We pick out some winners. 
more winners than losers. I hope people notice. EXPI, look at the volume today. Love it. Absolutely love it. Hit piece comes out from some fake ass news media outlet. I don't even remember. It was it was some specific short company or something that just post poop out there. Look at the volume today. Look at the action. We closed strong into the we closed strong. We had volume. We had the big down. Someone was able to stop it and we closed up about 1760s. That to me is not bearish. Speaking of bears, let's get into the XOP trade because everybody and their mom is bullish oil. And the only people selling ExxonMobil near the lows are Percy. I'm going to pick on you, buddy, because I don't know why you would do that yesterday or today. Just either sell it at the top or covered calls. Don't just sell it a little bit below. At least get paid for it for missing that dollar or two. XOP. What do we say? I mean, on the monthly, do I have it drawn here? I apologize if I don't. Okay. It's not that big a deal. But there is, we're at a Fibonacci extension on the weekly. Let me draw it real quick. Um, drawing on the fly. Hope you guys and gals enjoy this. That's the wrong one. I apologize. Is showing oh, this one is not showing the extensions okay whatever i don't want to deal with it right now just trust me we're at some big numbers what did we say always rubber band man right it's going it's coming up oh we're getting tired chop 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 oh barely a new high bull bull trap not great volume today was wide and loose Let's see what tomorrow has to bring because that formation in itself indecision could we go back at the highs no doubt or it's about to get choppy and sloppy and droppy potentially. I hope people, you know, if you have any questions about it, again, I think the, you short the pops. Exxon Mobil, what have we said? They have their best quarter in history. And what does it do? Nothing. This looks like a head and shoulders top, however, can all get invalidated by getting over 85, 86 and closing over it. Now, wicks to fill the gap and then close lower, those would not be bullish to me. All right. I hope this video is helpful. I try to explain to people over and over and over the values in the video, the values in the discord room. Again, we're all helping each other out learning in a sense that some people are learning how to swing trade. It is not easy. It is very hard at times and you have to be patient because if you can't understand, pretend this is a 10 minute chart, you're okay with chop. Well, you can't handle chop on a daily chart. Well, that's the problem is that you're usually playing options and you're not giving yourself enough time. That's the problem here. Play the stock, play it tight, and I guarantee you'll do good. You'll do well. Let's catch up soon. See you in the Discord room. Thanks for watching. For more trading knowledge and insight, click on the videos on the right, and also join the Discord room. Link is in the description below. If you have any questions, please stop on by the Discord room and let's chat. Thank you.